Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I, uh, you know, died a few runs ago. That sucks pretty bad, but I'm not letting it get me down. Is this like experimental treatment, Mr. Boom? Man, that is a weird one. VNY38LCL, but yeah, it, it wasn't the end of my sentence there. Ooh, ooh, interesting. Um, I'm not letting it get me down because honestly, there's nothing to get down about right now. I'm feeling pretty good about our runs. Of course, experimental treatment, which if I had to guess, probably gave us a health downgrade. Like, I'm not 100% sure uh, how experimental treatment works in the whole spawning situation. My guess, thank God for that. Without that, we would have been in a real tough spot. But, um, my guess is that we probably had one HP plus one spirit heart. And then experimental treatment took away that which was most uh, important for us. It took away our extra HP, but it seems to have given us, so I don't know if it's given us this or if we just started with this, you know, that's the whole problem with trying to diagnose how experimental treatment works when you never even know how your run looked to begin with, but, uh, we, our rate of fire and even our damage seem to be relatively strong, but it might just be that our damage is normal and our rate of fire is higher than average. Might even be that our rate of fire is average, our damage is above average, but, uh, we have a better shot speed, which is making it look like our rate of fire is higher. I don't know! As, you know, honestly, I don't really care as long as we're in a half-decent position. And Mr. Boom, for now, is helping us hit that half-decent position by uh, basically blowing up Tinted Rocks. As long as we can swing that fairly easily, that's okay. I do want to take a uh, blank card when we leave this floor. But uh, that's that's a bit of a, a distance from now. Most important thing is just making sure that we can, you know, have enough HP to survive, which is looking fine right now. Which is a surprise because it didn't have to look fine. It actually could have been a little scary, but uh, on top of that, having enough HP to ideally get a deal with the devil on our next floor. I know that there's a battery charge there. My hope is that maybe we can have a room full of combat here, and we got uh, doubly lucky because it's not only combat, but it's easy combat. Um, Easy-ish, anyway. No, this is like, it's got to be considered one of the easier rooms at this point in the game. Uh, we can use our bomb to then uh, blow up this tinted rock. Hopefully get small rock, I guess. I'd prefer the damage at this point. More money would be awesome as well, and that's pretty much how that went down. But we also got two more bombs out of it. Um, so we'll come up here into our shop. And I gotta admit that on our shop, I'm like, Black Candle would be fucking perfect right now if we could swing it. We got two more bombs, we're gonna need seven cents. Most of the time, you would consider that pretty doable. Oh, that helps out a ton. We might even be able to get enough to get, um, that was so stupid. To get out of it once and then get hit again, really dumb. But, um, we might even be able to get enough to get Black Candle and then maybe also the other Spirit Heart. We need nine cents on two plays. That's pretty unlikely, but that helps. That takes us to 14 already. Now we just need four more. And we got it. Actually, I mean, Red Candle is really tempting as well, to be honest with you, but we are gonna wanna take Blank Card with us. If, I mean, if we want to take blank card, now's the time, so uh, we already have a spacebar item. We don't necessarily need to commit to, to more spacebar items if we don't have to. Well, we, we, we can't. It's not even a if we have to sort of thing. So I'm hoping it's pin. It's Duke of Flies. That's not so bad. As long as we can, you know, get him before he spawns too, too many. It's, it's a very easy fight. Almost as easy as pin. Uh... But I'm really just glad we're not fighting a super difficult boss, so we have maybe one more floor to, to buff ourselves up. And I really don't want to lose HP, because we may need it uh, for the next deal with the Devil uh, to have survivability afterwards. But we got HP plus a little bit of damage on this. Really happy with this floor. No curses, lots of uh, Spirit Hearts and, and uh, Black Hearts to draw from here. It's actually pretty outstanding. I mean, it's easy to forget that we started this uh, with one Spirit Heart and Mr. Boom. Now we have one HP like six spirit hearts and blank card. I mean, we don't have anything to do with blank card yet, but we also have black candle and a little bit more damage associated with it. So uh, it's a great position to be in relative to how we started. Probably a great position to be in absolutely, but definitely relative to how we started. Isaac's fork and uh, basically at this point we traded a key for a nickel and Isaac's fork. I think I'm gonna stick for now with Samson's lock. Um, the nickel is good, but I don't think I'm going to get anything with it right away. 
I gotta admit, I think I might have looked down upon our damage a little bit too early. Not that it's I've ever said it was terrible or anything, but uh, our I think our rate of fire is is quite good. And now combined with meat, like I'm a, I'm a believer twice over, uh, because meat is not a particularly strong H or it's a normal HP upgrade. It's not a particularly strong damage upgrade, but we're getting a lot of utility out of it. I think because of the fact that uh, our HP. Why am I st stuck on the fixated on HP here? Because of the fact that our tiers are so high. I guess it's like my brain is just drawing from the stat category, and it's like, what what stat could you possibly care about? HP. You started with one HP. No, I'm talking about tiers already. Nothing to fear. That's the easy way to remember it. No rock tinteds. Just keep moving here. Hopefully we have. Uh, I guess something more to bomb for, because I really don't want to trade a bomb for a key when we already have more uh, keys than bombs. It's a confusing way to utter that sentence. But it, to a certain extent, we're treading water on this floor until we can get into our uh, deal with the devil. Unless our item room or our shop contains something that's like truly transformative, mostly the second floor usually ends up being like, don't take red heart damage, get a deal with the devil. And then, you know, that's, that's your best chance for success. And we're obviously already at that. We're not going to take... Red heart damage, unless something goes terribly, terribly wrong. And apart from that, uh, you know, it's just a, a long march to the uh, to the exit here. Luckily, there is pretty much only one way to go, so we know exactly where we are going. Not like we're too likely to get lost on the first floor here. Oh, second floor. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, blank card, tarot card. We gotta take. A gander at this blank card judgment. Infinite judgments. It's interesting. At the very least, gives us a better deal with the devil chance if we just blow up the judgments consistently. Miter is really good. Uh, I guess we'll just play the judgment. It can also be kind of interesting when you get into like the super late game to get like a bunch of demon judgments on the same floor on like the womb and try to make it work. It's it's not a guarantee of anything though. It's a little strange. Uh, no way to really get these guys to blow up where I want, I think. No, oh, no, we got super lucky. All right, we get one penny out of that. Not a huge deal, but I'll take it. Maybe we could be so lucky as to have a payout there. Oh, I was very excited temporarily. But this is like the first run in a little while that is feeling not boss rushy. Like, we're already at seven minutes here. Our, our rate of fire is good. Damage is good, as I've talked about ad nauseum, I'm sure. But, um, we need to take a little bit of time to do our due diligence to get this set up properly. It's like a heavy, you know, I'm trying to think of the name of the airplane that is super heavy. Like the C-150 or something like that. Um, we're like that airplane that I can't recall the name of. Oh, I appreciate the steam sale. Um, it's gonna take us a lot more runway to take off, but once we're up, the physics of flight are the same. You know, we already have a lot of the stuff that we would, uh... We would normally consider important. All we need to do is kind of, you know, make sure that we get to where we need to go. I mean, it's a, it's an annoying truism, but it's, it's true. That's why it's called a truism, I suppose. Don't know if that would have found the secret room if it were there, which it probably is now that I look at it. Um, I'm very sorry to my donation machine. Like I am, I'm gonna be very unkind to you. Like I want, oh, that's so good too. I want something out of the uh, judgments. Of course, but I also want, uh, if possible, that BFF, which we already picked up. And, you know, if I have to take the donation machine down this low, that's fine by me. Could buy the extra battery in there. But we're very unlikely to get, like, multiple judgments to pay out. Probably those two is the best we could hope for. And we should even just focus on one before the other. But I gotta be honest, I forgot which one's which. So, um, you know, the money's gonna go pretty quickly here. Once we start doing this. Oh man, blank card temperance or blank card judgment. It's a it's confusing. I don't know which one I'd prefer. They're both good. I'll tell you what, we'll use blank card. No, we'll use just regular temperance, and that'll make our decision a little easier. Should have used it next to the donation machine, because that's where I'm going back here to try to get the other judgment to pay out. We already got Luckfoot. Whether you consider that worth what we've taken out of our donation machine is another question for another day. But if we can just get like Luckfoot plus some HP, that would be awesome. There would be nothing wrong with that. And if there is HP, I'll take it right away. 
I'm not interested in, in trying to play the, you know, deal with the devil. Exactly 100% perfectly. I'd rather just have the guarantee, or relative guarantee. Okay, we'll play this once. Pick up the money. Play you. Holy crap, it worked. Okay, and then our pill is... Health up! It worked! <laughs> it took us a long time to get to the point where it worked. Like, but the very last play managed to swing it for us. And then we got a pin fight, so I feel like a little bit of an idiot for, for putting so much effort into... You know, making ourselves stronger, but I gotta remember, I didn't make myself stronger to beat Pin more easily. I made myself stronger to win the game. If I made myself stronger to beat Pin more easily, it's a bit of a waste of time. Caffeine pill, hopefully another health up. Shouldn't have taken it because it could have been amnesia, but I gotta make sure I stick with judgment as well. Oh, no deal with the devil precedent. So we got something, but it's unfortunate. Full health, luck down. That's bad. Uh, and now we're kind of like derailed as far as momentum goes. We're not in a bad spot, but certainly it could be a lot better. We'll just play this guy three times. Could get lucky and get uh, payout, but obviously we didn't. So we'll just uh, head down to the next floor. What was in our item room? It was Miter. Miter's great. That's probably why we got uh, another spirit heart there. So let's head down to the next floor. Hoping we get a deal with the devil that just writes the ship here. But even without riding the ship, uh, the run did get better on that floor, and it got enough better to, to feel good about it. It's a bit of a tricky one, because uh, Blank Card Hierophant is a classic. We don't need it right now, but we might as well prepare for it. Like, as good as Blank Card Judgment can be, it did give us HP and luck on the last floor, but we can't afford to rip 90 cents out of our donation machine on this run. Like... It's, it's just short-sighted, I think. Could be fun, but also short-sighted. So I'm gonna take Blank Card here, Font, And this pretty much renders us unkillable in the short term. Long term, of course, anything can happen. In the short term, though, we are completely set. Also, if we blow up this Judgment, better deal with the Devil Chance. Might actually be a smart play for us to do that instead of trying to get a payout, now that I think about it. I haven't really used that strategy in a long time. At least a little while, but... I like it. Taking a lot of dumb damage here, but... In a way, it's not so bad. You know, we can afford to take dumb damage here, thankfully. Shouldn't make a habit of it. Tears Up is a fantastic pickup. Much smarter for us to wait until later to take it, but it is what it is, and we get Explosive Diarrhea. I would love to get a Mushroom out of that, but we did not. Anyway, two Spirit Hearts. So if we've lost any HP on this floor, that is very quickly and soundly taken care of. Let's keep ourselves... Moving as much as is humanly possible here. This is just, like, incredibly terrible play right there. But, again, every room we go down one spirit hard, it only takes us three rooms to compensate for that plus double. That wasn't, uh, 1984-style misspeak. No, it wasn't, uh, an unintentional Orwellian reference. No, no, no. It was not an Animal Farmism, if you will. A 1984-ism, not intended, at least. Wonder if there's anybody out there, there's gotta be some people, right, who are freed from the context of Animal Farm and think it's actually just a story about, it's like Babe. Now, if there's anything wrong with Babe, people, may, they use Babe as a freaking punchline, man. Babe was a cultural phenomenon for a reason. It, it was like a kid's movie, yes, but it was nominated for Best Freaking Picture, man. Best Picture! It's got like a hundred on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, I don't like Rotten Tomatoes. Yo, your important, or your opinion is more important to yourself than, you know, the opinions of hundreds of movie critics from, you know, several different decades. That doesn't mean it has to be more important to me. You know, if you've seen it and you don't like it, that's one thing. That That's information that's useful to you. I'm just saying that Babe is a very well-liked film. I guess it's not used that much as a punchline anymore, but, uh, you know, back in 98, 99, Babe was everywhere, man. It was huge. Also, well, I guess it was more like 96, but anyway. Also, did you know that Babe 2, Pig in the City was directed by the same creator of Mad Max. as what, Like, the guy who also did Mad Max Fury Road. I forget his name. It's like George Marshall, something like that. I'm sorry. I know I'm a poser. Fury Road is one of my favorite films of the year. I forgot the director's last name, but it's something along those lines. I don't want to say George Martin, because obviously then people are going to be like, that's Game of Thrones, man. I don't know. I just, I'm going by what I've, what I've seen. And, well, and what I know to be true, because I spend all day reading Wikipedia. 
I was gonna say weeding Wikipedia, which is something completely different. That's all about the main character of the Walking Dead television show. It's a very strange, uh, it's a very strange website. I wouldn't recommend it for non-enthusiasts uh, of the show. Now, the ultimate question is: Do I go back there and blow up that judgment, or do I play the judgment with our newfound riches of, you know, five cents? Honestly, I think we have to go back and blow it up. So we should do so now. Oh, you know what? Never mind. We will totally play it. That saves me the slightest bit of heartache. Much appreciated. Check this out. I'm going to put this bomb down. Get him to pop up right in the fire. Oh, that was beautiful. I'm taking way too much damage against Polycephalus, but still. We got to deal with the angel instead. He gave us the halo. We have bombs. That's my, that's my house rule, basically. If we have bombs, I will be... Uh, Blowing up these angel statues, taking the key pieces. I do still, I, I guess it doesn't need a rework, but I would love to see angel rooms reworked a little bit in Afterbirth to make them more viable. Right now, they're not a viable alternate path to deals with the devil. They are substantially, I probably should have been hit there, substantially and markedly worse. But a uh, few tweaks, you know. Make the pool a little larger or smaller but better, and uh, then you're you're cooking with gas, you know. Make the make it so that they're extremely unlikely to pay out with uh, spirit hearts or eternal hearts, and that goes a long way. Because this is the thing, right? Like a deal with the devil paying out with only red chests has some upside. For example, you know what? Why don't we just do this? Hurt ourselves just a little bit here to have a chance to pop that, but um, it has some upside. You can get spirit hearts. You can get guppy items. That's the big one. Um, it, it, there's an interesting like value to it. Okay, um, whereas with uh, with angel rooms, it's just like why bother, you know? Like, what I don't I don't want to come to the angel room and get one more HP. Like the mo most of the time I'm coming there, I really just want to abandon the HP and never see it again in favor of some high damage items. I really feel like there need to be just a couple more good angel items, and then then there's like a reason to take the path. What I would hate to see is just more like. You have to take the angel room for this achievement or something because I think that would be like a, a bit of a cheap way to just make people uh, have to do it more have to do uh, the angel rooms when you know the, the consensus is that devil rooms are better but not everybody feels the same way there are some people who are like you know I wish you wouldn't talk shit about angel rooms so much they're better here's my statistical analysis and then I'm like well mm, everyone disagrees with you not to be dismissive and rude but um you know, your your mathematical analysis, it always comes with its own bias as well. It's like, well, here's my uh, value judgment on which items are not good. And then sometimes like nine lives or like Guppy's head ends up in there. And I'm like, well, we're coming at this from two different perspectives. I'm from the perspective of uh, Guppy's head is an amazing deal with the devil item. It is situational. It depends where you're at. If, if it's your first Guppy item on the womb one, it's probably not going to be useful, but still could be. But anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting too uh, up my own asshole about this right now. The point is... I think I, I would love to see an afterbirth. The angel rooms get a a change. Remove breath of life, maybe. Remove holy water. It's remarkable that two of the worst items in the game uh, are both very frequently seen on deals with the devil. And replace it with uh, with something better is my suggestion. Anyway. Anyway, I can't be too mad. We got the halo on our last run, or last floor, and we picked up, uh, like, four HP, which is fairly ridiculous in and of itself, and we'll just start dumping spirit hearts on the ground. Now we just need magic mush, and we're, we're sitting pretty. Two pills already, one of which is pheromones. Not bad on a big room like this. The other one is luck down. Not as invested in that one. Then we got our second mushroom patch down here. I don't know. Mushroom farm? Mushroom... Mushroomorium? A fungatorium? Is that what it's called? By the time you hear the next pop, the fungatorium will be within you. This is a completely, like, dangerless curse room considering the fact that we have, like, two spirit arts waiting outside. Plus, we got an extra charge on blank card just for showing up. That was very dumb damage, though. Okay, Liberty Cap over Samson's Lock. Yeah, yeah, I think that's totally acceptable. And our pill is full health, but we want to stick with Hierophants. Feels like a secret room down here, if you ask me. 
Three cents. I mean, I do want to go to our shop at some point, but it's just like, what's the point right now? There's not really much of a point. We've never had much money. It'd be nice if we got like a quarter and then they could just donate it all to say thanks for giving us BFF earlier. Did we not get... It was BFF. I don't... Honestly, I'm having a decent time with this run and I don't want to... It's not really ruining it, so to speak, but I don't really want to... <laughs> I don't know, because the thing with Epic Fetus right now is that it's so good, but it has no synergies. So when you pick up Epic Fetus, you're basically saying, like, I'm done. You know, I, I value the win and I don't care about my synergies. We already have, like, such a good situation here. I feel like it's a bit of a cop-out to, to, to remove all chance for us to have good synergies, but... I don't know, you may disagree. It doesn't matter that much. We're, we're sitting pretty. I'm going to avoid Epic Fetus. I just want you to put like a little check mark in, um, in the column for me that is uh, ignored Epic Fetus. That way, the next time I have the opportunity to pick up Epic Fetus, if I have to take it, if I need it for survival, you can remind yourself, wait a minute, self, don't get mad. He didn't take it last time. This is, you know, this is fair. This is smart. And, and then we'll all live uh, in, in perfect harmony together. This is um, it's a slow run, but again, I, I can't really complain about a run in which we are almost killable. Not quite literally killable, or unkillable, but uh, we're, we're pretty close. Can't believe we actually lost money on that transaction, and by transaction, I mean me getting hit, which if you really distill it down is... This is the core transaction in Isaac, isn't it? A, a, a trade of HP, but we'll uh, hope for maybe a battery here. No battery. A bomb? No, just more keys. Well, actually, I really would like a bomb because we have no bombs to access our deal with the Angel. I do want to complete this key piece, so honestly, if we have to, I would love to go to the sure. If we have to, I would not love to, I guess, but I would be okay with going to the shop buying a bomb and then using it to blow up the angel statue thanks to uh, Goathead for allowing us to constantly get back into the room. It would be awesome if uh, Dark One here paid out with some more DPS. It's pretty much the only thing we're really lacking in spades. Speed plus range, it's okay. And this is a deal with the devil. So I'm sorry, Mega Satan. I gave you a chance, uh, but we're not really going to get an opportunity to see that chance through to fruition. We'll take them all. We got contract from below. We got Brother Bobby. We'll get the heck out of here. Uh, what was it contract from below? Brother Bobby the Pact. Not that good, but considering we can fill up our HP regardless, it's not a huge problem one way or the other. Uh, I don't like this very much. I will give you that. Great stuff. Oh, well, he, they pivot so quickly. They pivot. They pivot like Zynga after the collapse of Farmville. Get out of here. That was a corporation joke. I didn't know how it was going to pan out. Obviously, we want to stick with the hero font. That's what is allowing us to, to do whatever we want. It's what's allowing us to ignore items completely like Epic Fetus, even though it's a slap in the face of the RNG gods. To do so, to say, hey, thanks for this golden gift. I'm going to squander it. Oh, that was bullshit. I don't think we should have been hit on that one, and I'm not afraid to say it. Okay, we will go to the cursor. We have no guppy items as of yet. Um, big problem for this floor is that we're probably due for a Krampus fight. That's the goat head uh, corollary. Is that after you... Uh, don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. I don't want to pick it up. After you uh, get your first goat head deal with the devil. I know we had a deal with the angel earlier. But after you get your first goat head deal with the devil, prepare yourself because the Krampus fight is incoming. Ooh, that is fantastic. Paid for itself. And the extra damage from it is going to be marvelous. And then inside of here, just two regular chests. Why can't you be more like your brother in the curse room and actually have a half-decent item on offer? Apparently, that's too hard. Well, that's, you know, that's why you're going to be phased out. That's why you're not getting done, man. That's why we're ignoring your rooms and going to the glamorous curse rooms beside you. G L A M O R O U S. The glamorous. The cursed, cursed. I'll admit, um, I only know glamorous really from Grand Theft Auto V. I know that sounds like I'm some kind of a, I'm a, a Fergie fan, but I'm uh, ashamed. It's not really the case. It's just it came out during an era when I was not 
too in tune with what the kids were listening to, so I never got to really hear glamorous. I'm sorry, I wish, uh, I wish I had. There's sipping champagne up in the sky, is that how it goes? It's basically about flying first class. It's a song written by United Airlines to, to sell upsells. And, all right, well, with bomb bag, I don't mind spending a bomb, because we know we're going to have more in the future here. This guy should die before, ah! I was going to say before he can do any real damage, but I was incorrect. I don't know why this run feels so slow right now. Like, it just feels so slow. Oh my lord. We're fast, and our damage is not bad. But it's still, like, laborious. Maybe that's just a testament to how good our recent runs have been. So, I took technology. Oftentimes, technology uh, in these situations can seem like a damage downgrade. But it really, actually, in this case, seems like a huge damage upgrade. I don't know what makes that distinction. Because there's been times when I've had great damage, taken technology, and been mad. Uh, because it uh, seems like a disappointment. This time, it seems like a huge damage increase. So, if we were worried about our speed, this is definitely improved upon it here. Maybe that was just a skinny odd mushroom liberty cap room, though. So, I kind of got a skewed view of things. There is... That was bad. But there is a... Uh, Tinted rock down here. I think we're going to have to blow it up ourselves, judging by the look of things. Luckily, we are fast enough to not be scared about this at all. Thank you. Okay. Orbital bomb. Small rock, please. Small rock, please. Golden chest. Two pennies? What's the point, man? We will take Guppy's Paw. I think we keep our red heart just to spend it. Again, we're not going to have a problem like... Uh, Filling up our spirit arts, so what does it matter? What does it matter? Now we're just gonna kind of keep going through the motions here. I do want to point out my dream synergy for the last run has come true. It's just a run too late. Unfortunately. Well, that's that's unfortunate as well, right there. But um cube of meat BFF. An absolutely fantastic combination, as you can see, just tearing the shit out of these bosses. And I can afford to be aggressive, not Unicorn Stump aggressive, but aggressive nonetheless, because what does it matter if we take damage, you know? Like, we're, we're getting it back more quickly than we can really spend it. Um, it's going to do a, a ton of damage, but I really wish that this had just showed up on the last run. It would have been worth a lot more. Might as well stop by here. Man, we're already like this. That's really dumb. But uh, this is roughly... The time at which we finished our last run. It puts it into perspective. How f Not how slow this run is, although a little, yes. That was kind of my, my hidden agenda. Pour my heart in a blender and still I surrender to you. That was my Durstism for the day. I've been, I've been lacking in my Durst of the days lately. Like a chump. There you go. It will make up for lost time a little bit. But, um, yeah, if we just had it on the last run, it would have been better. Anyway. Puts it, what I was going to say is it puts in perspective uh, how fast our recent runs have been, including that lost run. Where's my where's my dip? There it is. This is uh, Depths 2, and we have not been to item room or shop. So as much as I would love to leave, I'm gonna. No, I can't follow through with it. I wish I could. God damn it. Why can't I quit you? But seriously, uh... Let's speed it up a little bit here. You know what helps speed it up a lot? Mapping of any sort. For now, though. Just go to town on these guys. Have a good time. Like, enjoy yourself. You know, this is not like... This is like a cruise instead of a flight. You know, if you go... I'm just going to donate everything. If you go on a cruise, the cruise is the vacation. If you go on a flight, you're going to a place. This is a cruise we're going to enjoy. It. It's about the journey, not the destination. Cruise is like a boat flight, is what I'm trying to say. All right, we are done here. Um, still got an item room to visit, if it's at all possible, and it will be. I'm thinking Mom doesn't survive too long with our uh, with our cube of meat here, as long as we get it to rotate in the proper position to start with. And pretty much the only thing I'm going to be thinking about replacing uh, Hierophon with at this point is if we are unbelievably lucky enough to get a blank card Yera 
But apart from that, I think we are basically just set for the whole game. So, um, this is a wild one, because blank card, uh, not blank card, sorry, BFF, uh, Blue Baby's Only Friend, a series of strangely named items, works really well in, uh, in conjunction with one another. I know we can go back for Mom's Purse, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal, I don't really care. Uh, I don't know if maybe that makes it better than our other damage. We actually have kind of like a, a sweet duo here, in that we can just pop... Blue Baby's only friend down in the middle, and then have our Cuba Meat come down and, and see what does more damage. I mean, as you can see, we're kind of we're kind of tearing it up. It's gonna break my brain to, to use these in this different way, but I think that if we weren't already sold and sealed on this run, this would probably do it for us. I mean, it's not quite flying, but it's. It's getting there. Um, like, it's not quite flying in terms of our ability to separate ourselves from the line of sight for enemies, but we're getting close. Alrighty. Rate of fire is absurd here. This is our last real chance, last great chance at least, at a deal with the devil, so I would love to see it. I don't love my odds of getting something great. I can't even remember how many guppy items we have, which is like completely my fault. But also largely irrelevant because we don't need to become Guppy to win this run. Uh, blank card Algiz. Blank card Algiz is awesome. Being able to use that once per four rooms. Very, very good. No doubt about it. I don't think it's as good as a blank card Hierophant. Like, that's just the difference, you know. Hey, it's hard because blank card Algiz, we could kill any room. With our, you know, BFF orbital, BFF uh, blue baby's only friend, without standing a chance of getting hit, any room, uh, you know, Mega Satan, not a problem. If we if we got Dad's key or somehow another key piece, Th these would be non-issues. But we already have invincibility, as you can see right here. I'm I'm using it expertly when I take damage semi deliberately for no reason, uh, and I feel like the survivability is actually higher from the Hero font. I mean that sincerely, you know, being able to get hit twice every four rooms is probably better in terms of like spreading the damage around than, you know, being able to just walk into everything once every four rooms. Being invincible once every four rooms, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Damage is pretty good. This is the ideal situation right there, is when we get two enemies lined up, or even better, two enemies lined up and Blue Baby's only friend on top of one of them. That's going to make our life incredibly simple. So it's our final deal with the devil. Not HP would be an ideal item as far as I'm concerned. Very interesting. We do want it. One way or the other. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we're going to become Guppy. Um, why don't we just... I want to be at half a heart, but I don't think it's going to be easy to swing. So why don't we take this. We might as well take nine lives right after. Now we're Guppy. And then we'll just take Magic Mush, because obviously we want it. It fucks up our invincibility, but I guess... Why am I caring so much about invincibility when we're going to be killing enemies so quickly they won't be able to hit us anyway? Uh, that was just an incredible haul for us. And it's really what this... The back half of this run is basically just like our items competing with one another. Being like, no, use your tears. No, use your orbital. No, use me, Blue Baby's only friend. No, use your tears again, because you're guppy. Like, I feel like I'm in the middle of like some awesome salary negotiation or something like that. Uh, and I'm just like, all right, I'm going to let you guys talk. I'm going to go grab lunch across the street. Uh, come back with your best offer, and I will work for you for the rest of my life. Amazingly, damage is still leaving a little bit to be desired. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just unsatiable for some reason, but... We are killing things quickly, but I'm a little perturbed at... Um, I don't know, I guess it's that the hitbox on technology is really small. That's That's what's perturbing me right now. But it's an extremely minor complaint in a sea of greatness. I mean, you can see, though, like, this isn't our best run in terms of tears ever. Like, the, um... The mom's heart fight did not just end in two seconds like it has in some situations. Actually, it took a little bit more like five or six seconds. <laughs> it's still not bad, but... Uh, not an automatic one, either. And honestly, you know, if we're talking about things that are automatic, the streak so far has basically been automatic. The first run, I got a little silly on the first run. I had fun with it, and, uh... We did really well. Some of the best damage we've ever had. Next run... 
Easy, you know? Can't complain about that one at all. Had a good time as well. Uh, this run, we were... Honestly, it was the hardest Eden Star we've had, but it made up for it so quickly that I, I feel like we weren't really even tested, so... I really feel like the game's been pretty kind to us so far, and this is a nice little bit of momentum to establish. I know we shouldn't talk about a streak yet on win three, but uh, it's a nice little bit of momentum to establish uh, a foundation for a good future. Let's put it that way. Um, turns out that was actually like a pretty bad open. That one at least gave us a key or two back. Like, the reason I'm not using the Hierophant, even though it's best for us to use the Hierophant, is just because, like, it, it kind of seems like there's not much point when we're getting so many Spirit Hearts anyway. I mean, keep in mind, we do have the Miter. Mostly it's laziness, but, you know, you got to weigh that laziness against the odds of something really bad happening to you. Like, if we're already at the point where we're never going to take damage, what does it matter if we summon another 30 Spirit Hearts on this floor? It's not like a Spirit Heart Fairy is going to come in and give us, like, cold hard cash for them. There's no cash for Spirit Hearts tent outside of your local grocery store, probably. I don't know. I don't know where you live. Maybe you live in, you know, the Klondike. Uh, during the gold rush in the mid-19th century. I have no idea. I find that probably unlikely, though. So, I'm I'm admittedly doing this the exact way you should not. But we have enough HP that the way you should do things, be damned. If it feels good, do it. Even if you shouldn't, don't let Isaac mess you around. We have, like, another three Spirit Hearts back here on one room, so uh, I'm not sweating it very hard. Tried it all, and I'm tired of trying. It's a hard life living a lie, basically, is what Sloan said. And I'm not talking about uh, Ferris Bueller's girlfriend. Fling? I don't know. They, maybe they were boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't know. Possible. Doesn't matter. It's a film before my time. Okay. This is great. I don't really want um, Thunder Thighs because it's useless now, but Spoonbender. Huge get for us and all of a sudden nullifies any problems that I would have with our damage. Or at least I can't talk about them anymore without feeling like a right asshole. So, um, basically means that in spite of the hitbox of technology not being particularly strong, it's going to be very easy for us. Oh, well, it turns out we didn't need to place that, but whatever. Uh, it's going to be very easy for us to hit enemies because we almost can't miss. We got a speed upgrade effectively from uh, Sagittarius there. Nothing wrong with it. How's our luck stat? I hope it's good enough that we can get some more items down here because we got potentials for cool synergy. I can't believe that we managed to avoid taking damage right there. Got to get a little closer if possible so our flies can go faster. That's a live bomb. These enemies are dead before they can do anything. Ah, this is the good stuff. Turned out to not really be that good, but that's okay. And one of the very few times that I will relish going in the wrong direction. Gives me time to catch up to make sure this run can cut the mustard. I'm trying to think of other condiments. But all I get is, you know, if your name is Sean, then I'll do my best indeed, Sean. That doesn't, as Dijon, Dijon mustard, it, it's just another kind of mustard, really. That joke didn't cut the must. Okay, well, I gotta get some new condiment jokes here. What else? Is there like a Dijonese? This is just way too hard. Because I'm getting into like French jokes about petit déjeuner. We'll cross that bridge. Never, hopefully. Um, when we get to the point where I start uh, trying to have a conversation in my incredibly broken, uh, very minimalistic French, then that is where. That is where the dream dies, I think. Okay. We want to kill Ultra Pride last. For that exact chance. It's almost to the point where it's, like, not even that exciting anymore. But it is still the best get, just because it's stupid. The, uh, the 18th life pickup is just ridiculous. And I guess if you did the chest enough times, like if you had Undefined or something like that, you could possibly get, like, 99 lives. That was a very fun room. Uh, I've never, I don't think I've ever gotten over 18, but uh, the the chance theoretically exists. Oh, one last opportunity here. It's half decent. I appreciate this run. This run worked really well with me. 
And uh, I think it, it was more than fair, especially when it started me in such a bad HP position and just, you know, gave me a fire that paid out with the spirit arm. Much appreciated. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.